So guys, welcome you all to my YouTube channel. Guys, in this video, I'm going to teach you about PWA. If you don't know about what is this PWA is, and this video for you guys, uh, in this video you are going to learn about what is this PWA and what is the benefit of using this PWA and how to implement this PWA and uh, what are the drawback uh, if you are using this PWA. So how to caching a uh, different ways all the things you are going to learn in this video so in this video guys i'm going to practically implement anything but i'm just want to give you a foundation knowledge of this pwa and you can apply this theoretical knowledge to your actual project implementation right when i was uh, referring the pwo thing uh, in the uh, resources so it's a bit difficult to uh, grab the concept properly that's the reason i come up with this video after researching all these things and i implement this in practically for one of the project and after decide uh, i want to share this experience with uh, all of you all so that's the reason i'm creating a video so after watching this video you are definitely grab the foundation knowledge this will really help you to uh, build when you come to the actual implementation right so this is the reason i'm creating this video before begin the video let me introduce myself hi it's me rahim i'm a software engineer javascript then guys let's begin the video so what is this PWA? PWA is basically stand for progressive web application. Sometimes you heard about this terminology called progressive web application or a short word called PWA. This PWA is really uh, enabling a superpower to a web application. What are the benefits we have if you are using or if you are introducing PWA to our web applications? Let's talk about that. So if you are introducing PWA or progressive web applications to your web app, right? So there's a lot of benefit uh, we are getting from that. So one is, let's say, for example, all the users doesn't have a, a proper internet connection or PD is very less. Likewise, the network problems are always there. This progressive web application or PW will resolve those kind of issues. That is the one thing, right? Second is, guys, we can give a offline capability enabling through this PWA. That is the second thing. Third thing is guys, if you are enabling PWA support to your web app, that application will become uh, installable. You can install in your device basically. Let's say for example, if you have a laptop, you can install that application in your uh, laptop or if it is if you have a mobile application you can install it in your mobile application as well after that you can click that application icon it will show the applications right so those are the benefit uh, we have if you are enabling a support of this pwa to enable this progressive web application you need to introduce two kind of a file here right so what are those file is one is manifest json that is basically includes all the meta related to the application like your application name and your icon all these things includes in that particular manifest json file the, including the version another one is service worker js file so service worker js file is very important file this is the place where your service worker get registered right so inside that particular script uh, we have a couple of uh, life cycles also like registration is one of them and installation is one of them and like uh, what else the activation is one of them and uh, finally the fetch is uh, one of them so so these are the life cycles we have you can able to see in service worker js file that script file you need to import on your uh, index.html file this is how the linking between all these things let's talk about guys how these offline capabilities work when we talk about these offline capabilities guys when the network is down how these get served to the user even our application internet is down there is a one of the mechanism called caching caching is the one basically when your application is running with the network at the time what happened is it will uh, request from the network and cache those uh, resources and the assets in the cache storage most of the uh, things like uh, the asset file images files the rest of the pages all the things are get cached on the cache storage then what happens is when the network is goes down so it will always serve from the cache that's how these offline capabilities work when you are coming to pwa implementation you need to know about the caching strategies if you are uh, fail to understand this uh, caching strategies you are going to end up with this pwa so it become a headache to you without knowing all these concepts implementing the pwa or introducing pwa in your 
a web application is going to be uh, quite difficult and it will be nightmare so due to this reason so you need to understand about the caching strategy few of the caching strategies the first one is basically cache first strategy so what is this cache first or we can sometimes call pre-cache strategy cache first strategy is basically uh, first the service worker is checking from the cache storage whether all the resources are available in the cache if not the first time it will call the network and get cache to the storage and reserve the all the contents all the files from this particular cache storage so next time let's say you are navigating different different pages it is always serving from the cache storage not from the network this is really good when your content is not getting changed always there is a drawback behind in this approach. Let me tell you that. Suppose you are modifying one of the uh, file content, right? Right now you are deploying that application or hosting somewhere. Now if you are looking that one, that changes is not reflecting in your browser. Why? Because user's browser that is already exist in the cache storage. So it is always served to user from this particular cache storage. Due to this reason, your newly uh, updated content will be not reflect in user's browser. So that is a problem or drawback in that cache first approach. Okay, let's talk about second strategy called cache first and cache refresh. This is another uh, strategy we can use. First, this guy is always checking the cache storage and the background call in the network and get the later fresh content and update the cache storage. So next time user visit, then what happen is user will get uh, the latest uh, content. So whatever the update things that happen, get update the cache storage again and again, each and every uh, request, right? So this is what happening if you are using cache first with cache refresh. The third uh, strategy is basically the network first. So what is this network first? Let's talk about that. So in the network first is basically it is always serve the contents and the data from network directly. Then maybe you will think what happened when the network is down. Yes, of course. So let me explain in little bit more in depth. So the network uh, first approach is basically call the network and then getting the response from the server and serve that response back to the user. So now user is always get a latest uh, context or fresh content from the server. It is not serving from the cache storage. But in the background, what happens is each and every network is goes, it will take the response and storing on the cache storage. When suppose this network is down or your network connection is not available, then what happens is it will serve the data or serve the assets and resources from the cache storage. When the network is down, then what happens is this guy is no, uh, the network is down and it's not working. So I need to serve all these from the cache storage. So user will not get impact. The data will be get uh, served from the cache storage until that network is become activated. These are the strategies uh, available. More than that available, maybe if you read other documentation, you can get, get more information. But if you are referring this MDN documentation, you can get these uh, understanding. But I just explain you these strategies because you need to aware about these strategies before implementing this PWA, right? The progressive web application. This is really cool implementation, guys, because this is uh, resolving a lot of problem. And that's the reason I creating this video. At least you will grab this foundation knowledge. After that, you can apply these on your actual project right suppose if you are if you want to implement this pwa application you can go through this uh, mdn documentation i will put that in the below description section then you can uh, go through that documentation and there are some of the tutorials also available for the beginners you can uh, go through and implement it your own then you can understand how it really work right all the things you can do so hereafter you can do your own self study and you can implement that in your uh, application so now you have a basic understand of what is this pwa and also guys i hope uh, this video is going to be helpful and you learn something new today right guys i have a small request to all of you if you are not yet subscribed my channel go below and hit the subscribe button if you like our video hit the thumbs up button and also don't forget to hit the bell button if you do only once i upload a new video you will get notified then guys have a great day i will catch you on new video